It was estimated that more than one in three American adults have high cholesterol. According to a record in 2012, about 93% of adults using a cholesterol-lowering medication used a class of medication called statin. Chances are you or someone you know is taking a statin to lower cholesterol. But what if you could eat your favorite snack to lower your cholesterol? Would you try it? I'm Dr. Hong, and welcome to my classroom. Let's have a brief look of the drug statin and the common problems. Statin is a large class of medication that is the gold standard for lowering cholesterol, according to the medical community. It works by stopping a key enzyme called HMG-CoA reductase in the body from producing cholesterol, but it is not without side effects. About one in ten people taking a high dose statin can experience muscle weakness, and about one point five in a hundred thousand people can experience a rare but serious side effect called. Rhabdomyolysis, or breakdown of muscle cells, which leads to intense muscle pain throughout the entire body, muscle weakness, and dark urine, almost look like Coca-Cola. Many people also may not be taking the statin correctly. Statin works best if people are conscious about their dietary cholesterol intake. Eating food that is rich in cholesterol can undo statin's effect. And let's have a brief look of diet and cholesterol. Mediterranean diet that emphasizes eating lean meat, healthy fats, whole grains, lots of fresh fruits and vegetables, and moderate amount of red wine appears to help lower cholesterol levels. But it is not easy to ask people to change their diet substantially to just lower cholesterol. A new randomized controlled trial published in the Journal of Nutrition provided some evidence on how a snack could help lower LDL cholesterol or the bad cholesterol in the blood. And now let's take a quick look of the study. Researchers from the Mayo Clinic. The University of Manitoba in Canada and a food company called Step One Foods partnered to conduct a double-blind, randomized controlled trial to study how a snack made with a blend of ingredients that are known to have positive impact on cholesterol profile could help to lower LDL level. The study recruited 59 people, but five of them dropped out. In the end, there were 18 men and 36 women with an average age of 49 in the study. After splitting them into control and treatment groups, they were told to eat a variety of ready-made snacks twice a day as a substitute for something they were already eating for two periods of four weeks, and they were told not to change other behavior during that time. At the end of the study, those who ate the modified special snack had an average of 8.8 percent LDL cholesterol reduction, and some even had a 20 percent reduction. Total cholesterol was also reduced by about 5 percent. The study also looked at if genetics could affect the result and found that it was not significantly related to the outcomes. But we need to be aware that this study was sponsored by the snack bar manufacturer. Now, this company sells a variety of different healthy snacks and breakfasts that claim to support heart health. Now, I have to emphasize that I'm not supported by this company. I'm not sponsored, and I'm also not promoting their product in this video. And if you do go look up their、uh, products on their website, you will find that they are not cheap. So, is there an alternative? If you have followed this channel long enough, you will know I am a foodie, and I like to try it out and experiment on different food. So, I've decided to make my own snack bar using common store-bought ingredients that are known to have a benefit on cholesterol profile. I came up with a snack bar that contains peanut butter, walnuts, almonds, flaxseed. Chai seed and cranberry. 
And here is the finished product. I think it tastes pretty good, but it could get better with some modification in the future. Now that's all for this week. Thank you very much again for supporting this channel. I know cholesterol is a very huge and sometimes controversial topic, and it would take me multiple videos to cover this entire topic. Now, please leave me a comment. To let me know if you would like me to dive in more on this cholesterol topic and nutrition and food and how it affects cholesterol. I would be happy to give you more information and give you additional videos. And also, please let me know if. You would like me to share my recipe of how I make this snack bar, and I can certainly make a different tutorial video on that. Again, thank you very much for watching this video, and I hope to see you again next week. And meanwhile, please stay safe, stay healthy, and take care. Bye.